Hello everyone, my name is Geo, and today we are going to delve into Delver, an early access roguelike created by Priority Interrupt Games. Now I've only played this game very briefly just to see how it works with a controller, and it seems to work pretty well with a few exceptions, which I will get to later. But the most important thing to remember is that you never know what you're going to get when you play an early access game, especially because it could have lots of bugs that the developers have to fix, but we're going to find out all that stuff together as we go through. So let's see what this tattered note that we picked up says. Rumor says that this place guards the greatest artifact of the old mage empire. It's said to be powerful enough to bend and warp reality. Signed by N. Thank you very much, N. I hope that you just summed up the story because I don't know anything about this game. Okay, so this lovely bunch of travelers looks pretty nice. Let's see what you have to say for yourself. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. You must be in your own little world being way too cool to talk to me with your musical instruments. But this guy is really chill. He's like, hey, what's going on? He's a shopkeeper, but we can only afford arrows because we start with 40 gold which we don't want arrows at least I don't want arrows because I want to get up close and personal you probably shouldn't stick around too long weird stuff happens around these ruins all those treasure hunters have been going inside but nobody ever comes back out they heard rumors about what's supposed to be down there couldn't pay me enough to go in <laughs> well you don't have to pay me at all because I'm a first-class adventurer Top-rate Spelunker. That's right, and we're gonna just jump right in. Rush down these stairs with some strut in our step. And go blind because... Go through the game blind, I mean, because I don't know very much else about the game other than the fact that, uh... Apparently I'm slicing at the candle for no reason. That, um... Your main weapon is your melee... Hey, get away from me! Yeah! Wow, she's out for blood. Especially this early? I just walked in. No wonder nobody ever comes back out because they're too eager to kill each other. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he killed himself, and I gotta level up for it. Choose your fate. I will go with attack. Just because I want to deal more damage, and I will definitely deal more damage with that iron sword. Four to seven? The weapon I start with starts with 2 to 3 damage. Now the benefit to the sword is it has more damage, but it's also a lot slower. As you can see, that's the charge for charging up the full swing of the attack. Um, so what was I saying? Ah yes, I am going through this game pretty much blind, and I'm not even going to read any of the other tattered notes that are strewn across the floor in this place because I want to keep the flow going pick up some edible what did I just pick up ale I don't really drink but maybe my adventurer takes up some alcoholic beverages every once in a while all right fine iron sword I think that's even better than the one that we got yeah four to seven this is six to nine absolutely uh, hey how about you put the sword yeah there we go no that's the wrong one get the sword out of here in fact, let's get this dagger out of here too, because as far as I can tell, you can't sell your equipment. No, don't put the ale there. Put the ale in the pouch and put the sword in that slot. Yes. Thank you very much. So that's the first problem that I found with the game from my very little bit of experimentation is that when you're trying to put equipment and items into your active inventory, it kind of like jumbles up items a lot for you so it's oh hey how's it going yeah haha <laughs> dark potion i'm afraid to see what that is but we'll have to find out eventually because i'm quite curious yeah wow that guy that guy behind him his friend just doesn't even care he just saw his friend get taken down in one shot and he's just like you can't stop me you cannot defeat me, I am more powerful than my friend. Some long dark corridors. This is th That would probably be helpful later on if the corridors get too dark to use that candle. Oh, I thought I picked up a candle, but oh, I did pick up a candle. There it is. Let's put that away in the inventory. I believe the candle will light the way if it ever gets too dark. 
which I'm hoping it doesn't because I like to be able to see where I'm going, what I'm doing, what I'm attacking, what's attacking me, all of the above. Can I get you to fall? Almost. Yeah! Good thing I didn't knock him off or I would have missed my chance to get that red potion, but he did poison me. Curse him and his green skin pigment. But I'm not going to discriminate. I'm just going to bust down doors. And I probably shouldn't have bust down that door yet because I am dying. Eat the cheese. <laughs> okay, so the cheese is going to heal me up to 16, 15 health right now. And it heals a little bit as I go. Worn leather pants. I don't want those. They don't add any benefit to my normal pants. I'm hoping a red potion... No, don't pick up... Oh god, I am really bad with this inventory. I want to throw the pants away. And I want to put the red potion in my inventory and hope that it's a healing item. And what else do I have? I have a scroll of resist magic and scroll of flame. I haven't tried scrolls yet when I tried my playthrough from the first floor the last time. So... If I'm ever in a pinch, I'm just going to use that at random and hope that it does something good for me. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Okay, I was here before. I wonder if there's a way to expand the mini-map because this is not the right way. So i got to go all the way back, the way that I came. Not step on this because I stepped on this before and it's a trap. It activates a trap and it could teleport you across the level. It can poison you. It can explode on you. It could do like any number of different things. And I'm not really in a mood to go testing the boundaries of the possible benefits of stepping on those little platforms. Come on, baddies. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Took forever to get that swing off, but it's all worth the effort. Oh, another level up. Some bats. Uh, we're gonna do. We're pretty strong right now, so let's do. I don't know the difference between speed, agility, and dexterity, any of that stuff. So I'm just gonna do attack. We're just gonna be extremely strong until I reach a point where I feel like it's too dangerous to ignore my HP and my defense. Ooh, excellent leather armor. We're gonna equip that. What's our... Okay, our leather armor has 3 AC, and this has 5 AC, which I'm guessing is better. So we're gonna equip that, and we're gonna throw away all this other armor that we don't need. Yeah! We're pretty strong, because I increased my attack power. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> uh, is there anything else before I move on? Fine leather pants. Yes, that will be better than my regular pants. And throw away the pets. Or we could just do a playthrough of just running through this whole dungeon without pants. That would be funny. Of course, we can't see it. But in the back of our minds, we would know that we are not wearing any pants. All right, so dungeon two. I haven't gotten this far. And we're not reading any notes. I don't feel like it. I don't read. I'm here to explore. I don't want anything to get spoiled for me. Should we open the door or should we just bust it down? Yeah! Oh. That's kind of a cool little animation as those little atmospheric flies. Yeah! One to four damage short bow. I'm probably not going to use that because this is caving people's skulls in with six to nine damage, whereas the bow is one to four. What's up, little gelatinous skull thing? Oh, wow. You survived a freaking hit? Why'd I pick that up? I don't want it. Oh, what? Oh. Get out of here! Alright, so you people are definitely getting a lot more powerful as the floors go on because you would have died in one slash normally. So, I'm gonna have to get stronger too. I'm just gonna have to keep bumping up my attack power until everything dies in one hit. But this bat, if this bat survived two hits... I would probably just be completely surprised. Ooh. Alright, this is new. I don't think he's an enemy. He's not coming after me. He's kind of just chilling out. He's got a book, though. Wow, how would he react if I just threw his book? 
into the abyss. How do you feel about that, shopkeeper? No, I don't want to buy arrows. I don't have enough money to buy anything else, so I'm just going to leave you alone. And just take this. And just keep this in mind that there are shopkeepers in the deep. And that I don't have to worry all the time about trying to get back up to the surface. Green potion. Hello. And an ice wand. Five. Three to five ice damage. Which... I don't think that's anywhere near as good as my 2 to 22 magic damage worn missile wand. But you know what? We're going to equip it anyway. No, come on. What in the world? Come on, put the ice wand up here. Yes, okay. You see, when you take an item from like the second or the third row and you try to bring it up to your active inventory, it just swaps it out with a random item, it seems. I don't understand that, because I'm trying to swap it out with the wand, but then it's like, oh no, we're gonna put this potion here because you wanted a potion, right? Ooh, there's a shield up there. Can I get that? <gasps> I can grab it from all the way down here. I must be like Mr. Fantastic or something. Absolutely fantastic. What else is around? Oh, we came from here. Should we equip the shield? Well, minus speed, but plus one AC. Eh, why not? We're gonna look awesome. Actually, I think we're moving a lot slower, so I don't want that at all. Yeah, there we go. I think I think we're moving a lot quicker. I don't know for sure. What just happened? Did anyone else hear that? Oh shoot! The trap just got activated by somebody. He was bleeding out little pixels, so I think he was the one that activated at least one of the traps. But somebody else stepped on this. Oh, I think he got teleported over there. Well, I'm not going back for him. I don't even care. 5 AC? That is a lot better than that other shield that we found. Some bread. We're going to take that bread and attack this man. Yeah, yeah that's right. Run away with your little bleedy little pixels. Pow! What else is here? We got... I saw a slime and another person. Yeah! Oh, you're getting attacked from behind! Oh, you're attacking me long range? Perfect opportunity to try out our long range attacks. With our crappy wand. It's not doing almost any damage, but what are you gonna do? Alright, we're gonna increase health just because as we go down into the depths, I do not want to die. That is a given. I do not want to die. I don't want to take too much damage. And we're going to take this candle just in case I'm going to need more than one. I don't know if I'm going to need any, but we're just going to take it. And we're going to break down this door because I feel like it. Ah, never mind. He's just like, all you had to do was knock, buddy. That's all you had to do. This looks like a big open room. There's a trap at the entrance. And I saw somebody who's trying to sneak around over here. Who was that? Who was that? It was me! Geo the hero! Um, <laughs> 7 to 10 steel mace. 7 to 10 is better than 6 to 9. We are gonna try. Oh no! What's up, buddy? Get out of my face. Yeah, that's right. Next time you let me finish my explanation of what I want to equip, you jerk. Alright, so we're going to bring this... Ah, oh, I just... I accidentally used a potion when I was... All I was trying to do was move... Yeah, I just wanted to move... Yeah, I, I want to move the friggin' steel mace to the top. Alright, I'm going to throw that shield away. Move this... No, don't pick it up! Ah! Move the mace to the top. We're gonna replace it with... What are you doing? Where did my item go? I just threw... What did I just throw? Put the mace in slot 5. But I know that I had another item there, so what did I do with it? Uh... Oh, that was what I did with it. Well, that was kind of weak, so we're not gonna use that at all. But let's try out the mace. We're gonna use the mace to cave people's faces in. And we have a staircase. Not a staircase. What are you talking about? It's a ladder. And it's going to lead to Dungeon 3. 
So thank you everybody for watching. If you liked Elver, stay tuned for the next episode and I will see you next time. See you later.